The initial reaction is that no matter how Guatemala tries to spin it, mm -hmm. the voter turnout was an abysmal failure mm -hmm. for the government of Guatemala. They put in considerable resources, including presidential integrity, mm -hmm. and the foreign minister herself was a part of the push to get people not only to turn out, mm -hmm. but to vote yes. Mm -hmm. In terms of getting those that did turn out to vote yes, that was a success for them. But that really is a no-brainer. Yeah. If I say to you, would you like a chance to win a wingle, all you have to do is turn up and tick a box that says yes, it is hardly likely that you will vote no unless there is a good reason for you to do so. Mm -hmm. What was an abject failure, and it doesn't matter how they try to spin it, was the fact that 75% of Guatemalans didn't turn out mm -hmm. to vote. To put that in perspective, it's as if in the referendum for Brexit in the UK, 75% of people in Britain had not turned out to vote at all, and only 26% or so had turned out. And it doesn't matter that you tell me that previous referendums have been at 10 or at 18. The fact remains that 75% of Guatemalans do not think that it is important enough for them to leave their houses on a Sunday to come and cast a vote for any possibility of anything being obtained mm -hmm. by going to the ICJ. And that's a hugely, loudly negative message against President Jimmy Morales and his government. Mm -hmm.